Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to review and also do a demo on the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. Now Charlotte Tilbury describes it as a magic wand to shape the contours for instantly sculpted Hollywood cheekbones. So this is what I've used today. What do you guys think? Do you think this is Hollywood sculpted cheekbones? <laughs> So I have the rest of my makeup already on. So I have my foundation on, concealer, my eye makeup done, and also my lips done. But I haven't set the perimeter of my face, nor have I set my nose, because today we are going to test the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. I picked up the shade Medium Dark. Now this product does come in two shades. So depending on what um, skin tone range you are in, you can either pick up the lighter shade or the shade. This is supposed to be a creamy contour product and it retails for £29 in the UK. So this is what the carton looks like. It has the typical Charlotte Tilbury coloring, branding and all of that. So it does contain the color and the instructions that are on this also on the tube which is good. A lot of times products on the back do not have instructions which I never understand. And it says twist to open, gently squeeze to release the product, twist close and then apply. So that's interesting to know that you have to open, get the product out, twist it close. I guess that's because you don't want to apply too much product accidentally. I think I'm going to do only one half of my face so you can see a difference between one versus the other. And then of course I will do the second side maybe off camera or just speed it up. The packaging is beautiful as you would expect from a Charlotte Tilbury product. Really shiny and metallic. I do prefer the packaging on this compared to the packaging she had on the Magic Foundation. So once you open it, this is what it looks like. So there is a sponge applicator at the top. And then if you can see that off position and on position. So you just move that triangle, hopefully, and then it opens up. And this is what the tube looks like. This is the back. So this tube does contain 12 ml or 0.41 fluid ounce. So just for comparison, that's about twice as much product as a typical NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This one typically has 6 ml and this one has 12. So I've never used it because it's clearly clean. So I'm just going to twist it open. Now you can see there is a gap right here. Sorry, here. I'm afraid to probably squeeze out too much. You can feel the product inside moving as you're pressing the tube. Don't want to take out too much at a time. Doesn't feel like there's much product in here. Okay, I do see the product coming through. Do you see it darkening? And that's how much product is coming out. Okay, so I'm going to twist it back up because I don't want too much product to start with. So that's how much I am going to work with currently. And then if I need more, I can always repeat these steps. I'm afraid because I've never used a cream contour before or a liquid one anyway. So what I'm going to do is she suggests just making a swipe down the cheekbone area. Uh, I don't know if I want to make a swipe. The color looks quite warm, so I'm not sure how it's going to look as a contour. So I'm going to blend it out with the Real Techniques contour brush. Okay, that's a good contour shade actually. Just look at it. Same time it looks kind of glowy and blends into the skin so easily. Wow, I'm very impressed with that. So you can see that compared to no contour here. Now on this side, my face is naturally pigmented or indented, I guess. So it always looks darker, like it always looks like I have contour on, but I don't have anything. So I'm just going to go over on my forehead. So I do think with this particular product, you don't need much. Blends in beautifully. Did you guys see that? It just took me seconds to blend that out. I have a relatively large forehead, so I am going to maybe deepen this up a little bit. Sorry if I keep going out of focus. 
It doesn't tend to detect my face if I'm looking sideways, which is so crazy. What I really am enjoying about this product is that it's not streaky, unlike many cream products that are kind of difficult to use. This just makes contouring bronzing so easy. Blends right into your skin and the rest of your makeup. So I think that's good enough for the forehead. Maybe I'll add a touch more. I just want to see if it's buildable, at least especially at the back of my cheekbones. So maybe right there. Don't apply so much. Wow, that looks so beautiful. And it took seconds. Next on to my jawline where I need the most help. So I'm going to be generous with this. Okay, let's try contouring the side of the nose. Okay, this wand is not the best for nose contouring and I'm going to use one of these eye blending brushes. Okay, I'm just going in to the with the brush instead of applying this fat sponge and trying to position it there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Very natural, it blended in so effortlessly as it did with the face. Do you guys see that? It looks so nice. I really like this product so far. So I'm just going to speed up on this half of my face and then come back to see if we can layer some powder contour products and bronzing products right on top of this. So this is what my face looks like once I have contoured. It looks super natural, it's blended in beautifully with my skin. So what I'm going to do is apply a liquid highlighter as well on my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow and right above my eyebrows. And for that today I'm going to use my Marc Jacobs Glow Stick. It's a cream illuminator. Just going to apply that with my fingers. And I did test out the light wand, so the highlighting one. And it looked similar to this, so I didn't want to spend money on a repeat product. But if I ever run out of my highlighters, or if it comes as a kit, I will definitely be trying that as well. So now I'm going to set my entire face with another Charlotte Tilbury product, which is their Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I'm going to use my Wayne Gauze Brush number two for it. So I'm going to start setting my entire face with this powder. But the contour, as you can see, gets more softer, especially after you powder. So I do think the next time I apply it, I would probably apply slightly more contour just so it kind of looks like this once I powder it and I don't want it super soft. Or this can be a great guideline to go over with the powder contour. Okay, so just for fun, I just want to go over the contour with the powder contour. So I'm going to use the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in Media using this on a Real Techniques Duo Fiber Contour Brush. 
you can see no trouble building up on the contour with the powder so, yeah. and there you have it i am really enjoying using the contour wand by charlotte tilbury and by the way i still worked off of what i had squeezed out right there and there's still a lot more product in there just to show you if i bounce my hand right there you can see that there's still product coming out i don't know if you see put this cap back on does it still stay moist i'll have to check that the next time i use it but i think it may dry out and that may be a problem if you squeeze out um, next time but we'll see i'll keep you guys posted on instagram if you follow me there but so far i am loving the cream contour so it went on super pigmented i thought it was going to be quite warm for my skin tone but as it blends out which it blends out like a dream super easy it just takes a couple of minutes to blend out uh, one half of the face and it turns into a neutral to cold tone which is quite surprising and I think that's why it can um, be quite buildable and can work with so many different skin tones. I really love it. It was super easy and it blends beautifully and still looks quite natural unlike the powder contouring. If you can put too much of a powder contour it can look streaky and doesn't blend as well with your um, cream products as your foundation or your concealer whereas this one just went on super easy. So if I come closer, this is what it looks like. I personally think the shade is spot on. It's beautiful for contouring. So in my opinion, is this product worth £29? I think it would vary a lot on your personal preference. I personally love contouring because I have quite a lot of fat on my face and my jawline. So. I love my contour products and I don't have any that are in this form, the liquid to cream finish. For me personally, this is wonderful and I totally think it's worth the money. Just because firstly, the shade is right. Secondly, the formula is right. You know, it's light enough to blend and maybe create a subtle look and it meshes beautifully with the rest of your skin or your makeup. And then thirdly, it sets beautifully and you can layer your powder contour products right on top of it so it gets a plus on all three of those criteria also as a bonus it's very travel friendly so so you don't have the risk of breaking up a powder contour product if this is all you need to use for the nose i do wish that the applicator was slightly different um, but i can see why she put the sponge because it's easier to go over the other larger areas of the face and as I did in the demonstration, you can always take a brush, dab it on the sponge and get product on the brush and then contour your nose. For the nose, I do think something synthetic would work better and something that comes to a finer point. So probably next time I use it, I'm going to try different brushes, but it went on really nicely. I genuinely have no complaints with this product. So well done to Charlotte Tilbury and her team on this product. It's something unique and I can see myself getting a lot of use from it. So if you found this video useful, please don't forget to hit that like button and also consider subscribing for more videos. So let's have a discussion in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of this product. Do you think it's worth the money? Do you think you're going to get it? Yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Open eye, feel the waves cut through me